the bell icon to turn on notifications. Another function that belongs in the category of the big five functions that everybody needs to know in Excel is the count function. And what this function allows you to do is basically count the number of items in a range or a list. So let's take a look at a basic example because there is a very important point here that you need to understand. Now in this worksheet, I just have a list of student names and I have the score that they've achieved in a test. And basically all I'm trying to do here is count the number of students that took a test. So I just want to count the number of items that I have in this list. Now bear in mind that this list is a very short list and this is probably something I could just do visually. But again, remember with all of these examples, imagine if you have a list of thousands and thousands of students. That is where the count function is going to be really useful. So what we can do here is we can type into the cell equals and this function is simply called count. And notice again as I start to type it in, Excel's IntelliSense is pulling up a list of all of the functions that it finds in its library related to count. And if you find the one that you want to use, and if the one that you want isn't at the top of the list, you can use your arrow keys to move further down and select the one that you want. Also notice that with count highlighted, I get a little bit of informational text to the side which tells me what that function does. So it says, counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers. And that is the really important part, in a range that contains numbers. So let's press the tab key to make our selection and put in that first bracket. Now our arguments here are basically the values that we want to count. So I want to count the number of students. So I'm going to go across to my little table. I'm going to select all of the student names so that I have my range B3 to B15. I'm going to close off my bracket and hit enter. I get a result of zero. Now, why is that? Well, it's down to that very important part of instructional text. The count function will count numbers in a list. So because I selected these student names, which are effectively text for my formula, that's why I'm getting an answer of zero. If I double click to edit this formula and instead of cells B3 to B15, I'm going to count using the test scores instead. So this time my range contains numbers. I'm going to close off my bracket, hit enter, and now it's working. It's telling me that I have 13 items in the range that I selected. So what do I do if I want to count anything in the cell? regardless of whether it's text or if it's numbers. Well, for that, I need to use a slightly different function. So let's double click on our cell. And I'm going to delete everything out. So if I want to count basically all, I would use the count A formula. Notice this time it says counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So it's not going to count empty cells either. So now that I'm using count A, which will count all or count everything, if I open a bracket, I can use either the student range or the test score range, and this formula should work. So let's use the student name because this is the one that didn't work when we were just using count. Let's close the bracket, hit enter, and now I'm getting the correct result of 13. Now, how does this work if we have blank cells? Well, let's go in and delete out Olivia from this list. So now effectively, I have a blank cell in this cell range. Notice immediately, as soon as I did that, the number of students decreased to 12. So count A doesn't count blank cells. What about count? Well, let's try that. Let's double click. Let's type in our formula again. Let's do count. I'm going to count the test scores because with count, we can only count numbers. Close the bracket and hit enter. And again, that also gives me 12. So it also doesn't count the blank cells. Now, what about if I just wanted to count the blank cells in a range? Well, we have another count formula that we can use for that as well. And that is 
count blank. I can see it's the third one in my list, so I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down, tab key to select it, and this time I just need to select my range of cells. So if I select these student names, cells B3 to B15, and hit enter, it's returning the result of one, because in this range it's found one blank cell. So there's three formulas there related to counting items. Count, which will count numeric values in cells, count A, which will count anything, and count blank, which will count just the blank cells. Now I'm going to control Z a few times just to put Olivia back into my student list. Because remember, with these formulas, you can also use other methods as well. So we looked at previously the functions dialog box. We can use that for count as well. So if I click the FX icon, I could go in here and search for count. There it is at the top of the list. And basically, I can then go in and select the values that I want to count. So I'm going to select the test scores, click on OK, and the formula works. I could also use that auto sum button. So if we go back to the formulas tab, click the lower half of auto sum, we can also use this to count numbers. Now notice a problem as soon as we do this. Because the cell where I want my result to be returned is far away from the actual data, it doesn't know which values I want to count. So it's just put the count formula in there for me, and now it's asking for me to select these values. So I would need to go in, select the range, and hit enter. If I was doing this formula directly underneath where I have these numbers, if I choose auto sum and count numbers, because the result cell is right next to the numbers that I want to count, it's recognized that those numbers are there, and it's automatically input the cell range for me, so I just need to hit enter. So just be aware of those little things when you're using things like autosum. But that, in its essence, is how you can construct three different types of count formula. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.